Well, this is it. We're wrapping up our little uh, series on the introduction to wood carving. I hope uh, you found it helpful. We've covered, uh, you know, reasons why we want to carve. Relaxation, hobby, keep your hands busy, you know. But we've gone through cuts and safety and keeping your tools sharp and what tools to, to use and what wood to carve and how to paint it. And uh, yeah, I hope you've uh, found it valuable. Uh, today we're just going to wrap it up hopefully with a, maybe a little bit of advice and going forward. Now, a word of common sense says that uh, you have to practice. Carve every day, even if it's for 5-10 minutes. You know, I used to think that I wanted to play the guitar. And uh, <laughs> I don't know why, but I wanted to play the guitar. So I bought a guitar, and I bought a guitar stand. And I put the guitar on the guitar stand in the corner of my room. And uh, every day I would walk by and, and uh, look at it as I walked by and then when I would pick it up I would just be terrible with it but you can't learn if you don't practice and it's just like playing guitar you're gonna suck in the beginning you really are and you're gonna get down yourself but as you put the time in you learn a note you learn another note you learn another note and you start putting them together and it sounds like something it's kind of the same with the uh, wood carving if you think that you can uh, pick up a knife and a piece of wood and make a masterpiece, you're crazy. You have to put the time in and practice. And that's uh, one of the first, uh, first pieces of advice I can give you. Time spent gives you results. There's, there's no other way around it. That said, there's uh, lots of help out there. And uh, I want to go through a few ideas that uh, can help you in your little uh, wood carving journey. And let's just start right off with YouTube. Gene Messer, Kevin Coates. Sharon my art, you know, Arlene the Carver's Woodshop. There's lots of uh, videos out there on YouTube alone. And uh, not only just to uh, copy what they're doing, but to see how they're doing things. And uh, take it upon yourself. You kind of create your own style. And uh, you can just pick little bits and bites from uh, all of us on YouTube. Another is books and magazines. Magazines are a fantastic uh, resource. Wood Carving Illustrated, every, uh, every issue they go take, there's simple projects, there's complicated projects, tips and tricks and helps all along the way, and uh, I look forward to getting uh, every new issue. But uh, I believe you can still get the backlog ones too, and I've got, uh, I probably have a hundred of them here, but all the way back I've got 1999 issues that I picked up luckily in, uh, in a group buy one time, but uh, magazines are great. Books as well. Books are, uh, I, this weekend I was at my uh, local carving store chipping away and uh, man, the mountain of books that they, they carry is, is incredible. When I started uh, carving, I would go on eBay and try to find uh, books and I would buy group lots of books and uh, I quickly learned that not all books are created equally. There's, uh, there's some great books out there and there's some not so great books. So Fox Chapel Publishing, I think they're tied in with Wood Carving Illustrated anyway, but uh, I would recommend any of their uh, publishings. I think that uh, they, they produce a good quality book and uh, depending on the subject matter, but some of my favorite guys out there are uh, Al Streetman, Tom Wolf, uh, Mike Shipley, Harold Harold Enlow, Harley Refsall for sure, and uh, yeah, there's I've got piles of books. So I'm not going to go through them all, but yeah, from gnomes to clowns to country folk, the snowman Santas are are big right now, and uh, yeah, there's no end to carving books out there. So if you just follow through with some of these books and uh, actually really do a good study on them. Boy, that's really going to up your game, too. You know, we've talked about uh, books and magazines to be a great resource for ideas and patterns. But uh, I did a video also on coloring books. But what else I was thinking was, like, ideas can be found absolutely anywhere. And uh, one thing that's really helped me, and it's a pretty cheap way to uh, get some good ideas, is uh, thrift store uh, toys and figurines. We just love to uh, go through secondhand stores and uh, peruse the the shelves and just get different kinds of ideas and different figurines and see how other people have made things and 
normally it's for uh, pennies on the on the dollar like even garage sales you can find little treasures like this and uh, yeah cheap way to to learn and, and see details that you normally wouldn't see and what better way to learn than to have something in your hand that just costs you you know 25 cents here 50 cents there but you get to look at how the arms are, are wrinkles, faces, how things go together, proportions. You know, what better way to learn than to uh, pick up uh, something in hand and, and just study it. Another great resource online is uh, Pinterest. Uh, not just for girls. <laughs> Pinterest, uh, you search carving or carving patterns or even eyes feature like drawing there's so much on Pinterest it's just chock full and you can make little folders and uh, collect all your little uh, ideas and patterns and Pinterest fantastic resource you know uh, as far as wood carving basically being a real uh, solitary activity there's also uh, carving clubs out there that you can join. Look in your city. I don't have anything available, unfortunately, but I do know that uh, people really love their carving clubs and just the, the social aspect of it to get together with like-minded people and share and learn. And if you don't have that available, there's always uh, Facebook groups. There's lots of, I think, Wood Carving Illustrated. Well, I know Wood Carving Illustrated has a, a good forum that you can uh, pitch in and share your carvings and ask for advice on certain things so yeah just although it's solitary it doesn't have so to as be as we wrap up this series oh. goose break as i was saying uh although this series is wrapping up i'm not going anywhere I am going to change up my videos once in a while though and they won't all be tutorials. I want to explore other ways of carving and woodworking and, and outdoors so it's not all on me. I just want to leave you with the tools to, uh, to pursue the hobby even on your own. You know I get requests all the time for crazy crazy ideas and uh, you know if you think I'm going to do uh, my little pony carvings and stuff like that. I'm not, but you can do it on your own and you can uh, get a little toy and copy it or you can get an idea off the internet, figurines, books, you there's know, so much the ideas. There. Take your ideas and put them into the wood and if you can think it, you can make it. So from here, we'll just carry on uh, back to uh, the old program and uh, yeah, I think this is worthwhile. I hope this answered. Uh, a lot of your questions and uh, I'll see you in the next video. So, thanks for watching guys. See ya.